Admiral Blas de Lezo y Olivarieta, KOGF, OS, the 3rd of February 1689 to the 7th of September 1741, was a Basque officer in the Spanish Navy, best remembered for the Battle of Cartagena de Indias, 1741, in modern-day Colombia, where Spanish imperial forces under his command resisted and defeated a large British invasion fleet under Admiral Edward Vernon. Throughout his naval career, Lazo sustained many severe wounds, he lost his left eye, left hand, complete mobility of the right arm, caught typhoid fever and had his left leg amputated in situ after being hit by the projectile of a cannon. Such injuries earned him the nicknames Captain Pegleg and Half Man, both referencing his consequential physical attributes. This has led to Lazo being thought of as a model for the stereotypical pegleg pirate common in modern fantasy novels. Lez's actions at Cartagena de Indias consolidated his legacy as one of the most heroic figures in the history of Spain, and he has thus been promoted as one of the best strategists in naval history. Topic: Biography. Topic. Topic. Early missions and injuries Topic. Born in Pasajes by then still part of San Sebastián, in the Basque province of Guipuzcoa in Spain, Blas de Lezo y Olivarieta commenced his naval career in the French Navy in 1701 as a midshipman. In 1704 he fought in the War of Spanish Succession as a crew member in the Franco-Spanish fleet which fought the combined forces of Great Britain and the Netherlands at the indecisive Battle of Vélez Malaga. At this time, his left leg was hit by cannon shot and was later amputated under the knee. Promoted to ensign, he was present at the relief of Peniscola, Spain, and Palermo in Sicily. His service in these and other actions resulted in his promotion to ship lieutenant. Participating in the 1707 defense of the French naval base of Toulon cost him his left eye. In 1711 he served in the Spanish Navy under the orders of Andrés de Pez. In 1713 he was promoted to captain. In 1714 he lost use of his right arm in the siege of Barcelona. Later in this campaign, his ship captured the Stanhope commanded by John Combs, sometimes claimed to be a 70-gun but actually just a 20-gun merchantman, thus, by age 25 or 27, depending on the sources, de Lazo had lost his left eye, his left leg below the knee, and the use of his right arm. Modern sources often focus on these salient features and refer to Lazo with nicknames such as Patapalo, Pegleg, and Mediahomber, Half Man. There is no contemporary proof that these or others were actually used during Lez's lifetime. Topic: <laughs> First posting to the Americas. Topic: Lazo served in the Pacific in 1720 to 1728. Although it has been claimed that he took many prizes during this period, documentary evidence indicates that in fact he took only two French frigates and not in the Pacific but in the Atlantic. He reached Calo with them in January 1720 although he had left Spain in 1716 as second in command of the Nuestra Señora del Carmen or Lanfranco as part of the expedition commanded by Juan Nicolas de Martinet. He was separated from the expedition while attempting to sail past Cape Horn. The prizes attributed to Lazo were taken by Martinet, who reached Calo in June 1717 and left the Pacific in 1719 before Lez's arrival. Lazo married in Peru in 1725. Topic. Return to the Mediterranean Topic. In 1730 he returned to Spain and was promoted to chief of the Mediterranean fleet, with this force he went to the Republic of Genoa to enforce the payment of two million pesos owed to Spain that had been retained in the bank of San Jorge. Deeming the honor of the Spanish flag to be at stake, Blas de Lezo threatened the city with bombardment. In 1732, on board the Santiago, he and José Carrillo de Albornoz commanded the enormous expedition to Oran and Mers el Kabir with more than 300 ships and around 28,000 troops, comprising infantry, cavalry and artillery. In the Battle of Ain el Turk they recaptured the city's loss to the Ottoman Empire in 1708. After the defeat, Bey Abu el Hassan Ali I managed to reunite his troops and surrounded the city of Oran. Lazo returned to its aid with six ships and 5,000 men and managed to drive off the Algerian pirate after a hard fight. Dissatisfied with this, he took his 60 gun flagship into the Corsair's 
S refuge of Mostaganem Bay, a bastion defended by two forts and 4,000 moors. He inflicted heavy damage on the forts and town. In the following months he established a naval blockade, preventing the Algerians from receiving reinforcements from Istanbul, thereby gaining valuable time for the securing of Oran's defence, until an epidemic forced him to return to Cadiz. <laughs> General commander and battle of Cartagena de Indias in 1734 the king promoted him to lieutenant general of the navy. He returned to South America with the ships Fuerte and Conquistador in 1737 as general commander of the Spanish fleet stationed at Cartagena de Indias, in modern-day Colombia. He took up his new post just prior to the conflict between Great Britain and Spain that would become known as the War of Jenkins' Ear and that would later be subsumed into the War of Austrian Succession. In the early stages of the conflict, the British Admiral Edward Vernon undertook attacks on various Spanish outposts in America. One early victory involved the capture of Portobello, Panama, the dismantling of its fortifications and the withdrawal of British forces having left the place defenseless. Admiral Vernon tested Cartagena de Indias on three separate occasions. Both Vernon and Edward Trelawney, British governor of Jamaica, considered the Spanish gold shipping port to be a prime objective. The first attempt, in March 1740, was essentially a reconnaissance in force by a squadron including ships of the line, two fire ships, three bomb vessels, and transport ships. Vernon's intention was to gather information on topography and troop strength and to provoke a response that might give him a better idea of the defensive capabilities of the Spanish. In May, Vernon returned to Cartagena de Indias in charge of 13 warships, with the intention of probing the city's defenses. The actual attack on Cartagena de Indias took place on March 13 to May 20, 1741. The British concentrated a fleet consisting of 196 ships, including 2,620 artillery pieces and more. There were 10,000 soldiers, 12,600 sailors, 1,000 Jamaican slaves and 4,000 recruits from Virginia. The defences of Cartagena de Indias comprised between 3,000 and 6,000 combatants, including regular troops, militia, Indian archers and the crews of six Spanish warships. Blas de Les's advantages consisted of a formidable primary fortress and numerous secondary fortifications. On the evening of April 19, the British mounted an assault in force upon San Felipe. Three columns of grenadiers supported by Jamaicans and several British companies moved under cover of darkness, with the aid of an intense naval bombardment. The British fought their way to the base of the fort's ramparts but were unable to overcome the defence and withdrew. After comprehensively destroying the forts in their possession, the British began an orderly withdrawal back to Jamaica. <laughs> Death and blame Lazo died four months after the siege was raised and a contemporary source indicates that the cause of death was epidemic typhus. Unus calentoris, kn breves dias se la declaro tabardillo. The site of his grave is unknown. Blas de Lazo was blamed for not having used his naval forces to full effect and for having sunk his own ships to no gain and at an immense cost to the crown. He was later honoured for his part in the siege of Cartagena de Indias as a square and an avenue in the city of Cartagena are named after him. A modern statue stands in front of the Castillo San Felipe de Barajas. In 2011, during a conference on Blas de Lazo's place in history and honouring the 270th anniversary of Cartagena de Indias' defence, a plaque was placed on the wall at the Plaza de las Cachas, by the clock tower portal. And in November 2014, a 35,000 kilo statue of Lazo was erected in Madrid's Plaza Cologne. Topic <inaudible> Legacy. Topic Several Spanish warships have been named Blas de Lazo in his honor, including an Elcano class cruiser named General Lazo, built in 1884. A Blas de Lazo class cruiser built in 1924, sunk in a shipwreck in 1932. The former USS NOAA DD-841, a gearing class destroyer 1978-1991. An Alvaro de Bazin class frigate, F-103 was built at the Spanish IZAR shipyard and launched in May 2003. 
She was commissioned in December 2004 and has a displacement of 5,800 tonnes. During the Neptune Warrior exercises off Scotland in September 2007 she suffered damage after a slight grounding. After the incident, her captain, Federico Superviel, was relieved of his command. The Colombian Navy also had a ship named after Blas de Lazo. Arc Blas de Lazo, BT62, acquired, 26 November 1947, struck, January 1965. This ship was the former USS Kalamazoo AOG-30, a Medawi-class gasoline tanker. In 2013 the Naval Museum of Madrid organized an exhibition on Blas de Lazo, including portraits, uniforms and layouts of battle plans. <laughs> Recent publications Topic. Francisco Hernando Muñoz Achuesta, compiler of Diarios de Ofensa y Defensa, has shown that it has traditionally been affirmed that the English king forbade any writing on the failure of his armed forces at Cartagena de Indias, which is absolutely false. There was a spate of novels following the publication by the Colombian historian Pablo Victoria of his fictional biography of Lazo. Francisco Hernando Muñoz Achuesta, 2015, Diarios de Ofensa y Defensa. Attack Ingles Sobra Cartagena de Indias, Diaries of Offense and Defense. English Attack on Cartagena de Indias. Ediciones Genealogía e Historia. Bogotá, Colombia. Carlos Alonso Mendizabal, 2008, Blas de Lazo, El Malcarido. Blas de Lazo, The Unloved One. Dossals, Burgos. Ramiro Rebus Narvaez, 2009, La Conjura de la Mentira. Derrota de Inglaterra en Cartagena de Indias. Conspiracy of Lies, the Defeat of England at Cartagena de Indias. Akron. Albert Vasquez, 2010, Mediahomber. La Batalla que Inglaterra Oculto al Mundo. Half Man, the Battle that England Hid from the World, Inedita Editors. Felipe Blasco Patino, 2010, El Hombre Sin Rey. Pudo un solo hombre cambiar el destino de América? El desastre de la armada invencible inglesa The man without a king, could one man change the fate of America? The invincible English fleet meets disaster, Bohoden Ediciones, Madrid. Santiago Iglesias de Paul 2011, El Marino que Cazaba Lagardos, y que Lucho Junto a Blas de Lazo The sailor who hunted lizards, and fought alongside Blas de Lazo, J. M. Ediciones. Orlando Name Bayona 2012, Blas de Lazo. El Almirante Patapalo. Anca Motz, Blas de Lazo, The Pegleg Admiral, Oveja Negra. Juan Antonio Pérez Fancia 2012, El Héroe del Caribe. La Última Batalla de Blas de Lazo The Caribbean Hero, Blas de Lazo's Last Battle, Libros Libres. José Vicente Pascual 2013, Almirante en Tierra Firme. La Aventura de Blas de Lazo, El Español que derrotó a Inglaterra Admiral on Dry Land, The Adventures of Blas de Lazo, The Spaniard Who Defeated England, Altera, Madrid. Francisco Javier Romero Valentín 2013, El Paisano de Jamaica The Jamaican Compatriot, Amazon Media. David López 2013, El Aventurero Vivar Vivar the Adventurer, Rosa Editorial. Victor San Juan 2014, Moriras por Cartagena You Shall Die for Cartagena, Punto de Vista Editors. Rafael Vidal and José Pablo Garcia 2014, Blas de Lazo. El Marino Invicto Blas de Lazo, The Undefeated Sailor. Pablo Victoria 2014, Los Amores Prohibidos de Cecilia de Cachiao. La extraña historia de cómo se salvó el diario de guerra de Blas de Lazo The Forbidden Loves of Cecily de Cachiao, The Strange Story of How Blas de Lazo's War Diary Was Saved, Amazon Media. Fernando de Artacho 2015, El Almirante Mediahomber Admiral Half Man, Algaida, Sevilla. Topic arms topic topic See also topic Viceroyalty of New Granada topic References topic topic Bibliography topic James, Lawrence 2001. The Rise and Fall of the British Empire. Abacus. ISBN 0-312-16985-X. 
Quintero Saravia, Gonzalo M. 2002, Don Blas de Lazo, Defensor de Cartagena de India's Editorial Planeta Colombiana, Bogotá, Colombia, ISBN 958-42-0326-6, in Spanish Misal Ueda, Alfonso 1982, Blas de Lazo, Vida Legendaria del Marino Vasco Litografia Dovel, Barranquilla, Colombia, OCLC 27881652, in Spanish Manfredi Cano, Domingo 1956, Blas de Lazo Publicaciones Españolas, Madrid, OCLC 17273075, in Spanish Barques Tegui y Manso, José Javier de, Conde del Lobregat 1927, Un General Español Cojo, Manco y Tuerto, Don Blas de Lazo, Natural de Pasajes B. Valverde, Irun, Spain, OCLC 32539491, in Spanish Hartman, Cyril Hughes 1953, The Angry Admiral. The Later Career of Edward Vernon, Admiral of the White, William Heinemann Ltd., London. Ramft, BMCL. 1958, The Vernon Papers, The Navy Records Society, London. Topic. External links Topic. 2009 plaque honoring Blas de Lazo in Cartagena, Cartagena de Indias, Heroismo, Patrimonio y Placer and Colombia, Guía Turística de Cartagena de Indias 2. Zero Viajes.